So let's have a look now at modifying our grid. It's very similar in the way that we modify levels, in fact. So let's zoom in on this area where we've been placing those circular hollow sections. And you see we've got a whole load of grid bubbles here that we don't actually really need, to be perfectly honest. All they are is secondary grid lines so that we can place the circular hollow sections off of the main grid lines where the column centers are. So what we can do here, we can click on each one. And if I just pan down a bit, there's the little tick box. I'll untick that on that one and hit escape like so. I'll click on this one, click on the tick box, hit escape. And you do have to do this individually. So it's just a case of selecting each one and then clicking on the tick box each time. And then making sure you hit escape to deselect each time. So I'll click there, click on the tick box, hit escape. And now you can see that north marker for the elevation isn't really getting in the way of the grid bubbles. Now, remember that constraint thing that we had on the levels and on the grids when we placed them? Click on that one. You can see that they're all constrained going across that way. So if I click on that little bubble there, that little purple circle, and drag and bring those down a bit like that and click, it does all of the grids for me because of that constraint, that little padlock, which does make life a bit easier. You don't have to worry about doing them all individually and making sure they all line up. So we've edited those, made them look all neat and tidy. Now what we've also got is this issue here. I've got a grid there, I've got a grid there, I've got a grid there. They're all at the same point. They all go horizontally through those circular hollow sections. So what we need to do there is delete that one. So I'll just hit delete on the keyboard, that one can go. And you'll see that there's probably one or two maybe sitting on top of each other there. And you don't want to do that with grids, it can get a bit messy. So if I click on this one, what I'll do as a test is I'll delete it. And if it goes, I'll just undo that delete. So we've got our one grid line left. And the trick there now, like we did previously with the vertical ones, is click on that grid, click on the little bubble there, the little purple bubble, and just drag that all the way through to about there. Hit escape to deselect, job done. So we've now just got the one grid line rather than two or three representing the same thing. So I think everything we've done is done. We've set it all up, but have we? Think about it. We have some circular hollow sections here that don't have a horizontal center. So what would be neat here would be to have a grid that goes from about here to about here. So we'll zoom in a bit just to make sure. Otherwise, we've got no way of checking that distance from there to there. So we'll do a grid. And what I'll do is I'll run it here and notice, look, it ties straight in to that circular hollow section for me. Click, drag it through to about here, click. Hit escape to deselect. And you can see it's gone through nice and neatly. That's excellent. Click on the bubble. And what we want to do there is lose the bubble, like so. Hit escape to deselect. That gives us a distance which we don't need to change this time because it ties in with our circular hollow sections. And now you'll see we've got a nice set of grids there that intersect with that set of circular hollow sections. So that's how you modify and edit your grid lines in Revit structure.